everyone. Welcome back. I am Daniela Anatovica. And I am Nicoleta Velescu. And we are going to study English together. Today we're going to talk about entertainment, which means films, music, books. Let's talk about entertainment. When you think about entertainment, what comes to your mind? Let's see. Music, books, films, games, sports, the media, and maybe fashion. There are different types of music. We'll talk about them a little bit later, like dance, rock, pop, classical, hip hop, jazz. The music is also connected to dance. Uh, dancing is really important in entertainment and you actually have fun when you dance, of course. Then books, uh, they may be fiction or non-fiction, novels, plays, poems. Then films, romantic films, musicals, comedies, fantasy, cartoons, soap operas, drama, or you can have fun playing games, computer games, uh, video games on uh, board games, darts, cards, hide and seek maybe if you go outside, skipping the rope, or games like Activity, Monopoly. Let's see, let's start with music. Let's talk about music. Take a look at these pictures. Take a close look and see if there is a connection to fashion, hairstyle. I hope you can guess the music genres. Let's see, look here, a radio, a CD player, look at the hairstyle, the microphone, the musical instruments. I hope you guess right. Okay, so this one is listening to hip hop, he's also dancing, disco music, classical, rock, heavy metal, hard rock, rap and punk. What about these ones? Look at the musical instruments. I'm sure you're right. Reggae, jazz, instrumental, classical music, electronic, country, blues. What about these ones? Yeah, pop music, tango, folk, gospel, religious music, salsa, bachata, samba, these are also dance styles. Music, of course, is connected to musical instruments. We have flute, violin, the piano, the, the guitar, the classical guitar or the electric guitar, the saxophone, the drum, the xylophone, or some other examples. The accordion, the bangos, the trumpet, the harmonica, the pen pipe, bagpipes, banjo. Can you think of some other examples? Or maybe the mandolin. Let's see. A group of people singing is called a choir. A group of people playing instruments is called an orchestra. The person who sings is a singer, of course, and if they're if we talk about a group of people, we talk about a band and some instruments are involved. The drummer, the guitarist, the lead guitarist, but we also have a bass guitarist, <coughs> the keyboard player and of course the backing vocals, the backup singers. Let's test you. A person who sings is a singer. You're right. Hmm. The words of a song are called... They're called lyrics. You're right. A person who writes music... Is a composer. A person who plays a musical instrument. That's how we call a musician. Excellent. A musical performance given in public is called... A concert. And a small group of musicians or vocalists... They're a band. Let's move on. Let's test you. When we talk about music, we talk about rhythm, we talk about lyrics that can be sang or maybe spoken in certain types of, uh, in certain genres of music. Let's play. 
-hmm. Listen to the song, listen to the tune, and tell me if you can guess the music genre. Okay, hey. so we have to guess from these four here. Let's see. Mm -hmm. It's peaceful, so it's classical music, I think. I'm sure, actually. Let's try one more. Mm, now this gives you a good rhythm. It's reggae. It yells Jamaica. Yes. What about this one? Mm, I'm curious. Well, this makes me think of Wild West. Is it the country music? Okay. Okay. What about this one? like pop but it's also a bit of techno I'm not sure can you press on pop maybe I'm right okay, you okay are right. I'm right okay now this is the concert I go to that's definitely rock let's see it's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. Mm -hmm. There's like rhythm and some lyrics. Is it hip hop? I can't hear really well. Okay, okay hip hop. Uh, this no, is my kind of music. Yeah. It's the jazz, right? Okay. You're right. That's traditional Folk music. Okay. Exactly. One more. I can't press the button. Okay. We're going all over the world with this one. From India to UK, all the way down here to the best. Can you feel the rhythm? Yep. Is it rap or techno? I'm not really sure. I uh, think it's rap though. Okay. They re yes. You recognize it's it. It's rap. And do we still have one more? That's techno. Okay. It is. Again. Mm -hmm. The one dancing. Yes, I see some dancers. It's Latin. Salsa, bachata. Okay. Well, we had so much fun. How often do you listen to music? Well, I kind of do it every day, uh, well, even if I have something to do. Yeah, I love listening to music. What about you? Where and when do you listen to music? Well, I listen to music on the street. Why not? I listen to music in, uh, in my living room, uh, at concerts, but not lately. Um, every day. Why not? What about you? How often do you listen to music? Where and when do you listen to music? How do people listen to music in general? They go to a live, think about it, mm. fill in the gaps. Maybe You're right? concert. concert or show. They buy music CDs, CDs or mm. from the internet. Download music from the internet. Let's test you. Who is the person who plays records and talks on the radio or at an event where people dance to recorded popular music such as a nightclub? Is it a DJ? Yes, a okay. disc jockey, a DJ. Who's your favorite singer? What's the last song you have heard? What songs do you have on your phone? Mm. Do you like dancing? I love dancing. Is music important to you? Why? 
Okay, let's That's... take each question uh, one by one. Do you have a favorite singer? Well, uh, not necessarily. I, I prefer bands and probably I'm a John Bon Jovi fan if you think of a singer and a Bon Jovi if you think uh, a Bon Jovi fan if you think of a band. What's the last song you have heard? Uh, well, one that really impressed me was um, uh, a duet made by uh, Ed Sheeran and uh, Andrea Bocelli of Perfect. Have you heard it? I'm not sure. Uh, you should listen to it, it's great. About phones, do you have music on your phone? Uh, of course, I have ringtones. Well, I kind of listen to music on Spotify, so no music in my phone exactly. Do you like dancing? Mm, yes, I do like dancing, but uh, I haven't done it in a while, since uh, we were not really allowed to go dancing. Do mm. you? I do. I actually go to dance classes. Mm, well done. Is music important to you? Of course it is. Music, I'm a moody person, so I kind of listen to sad music when I'm sad or very joyful and uh, full of rhythm music when I want to feel better. What about you? Let's continue with films. Lights, camera, action. There are a lot of things involved when we talk about films. There are different uh, film genres like action film, musicals, westerns, um, drama, comedy, horror, romance, or rom-com from a mixture from romance and uh, comedy. There are, uh, there's a process involved in making a film and here you have jobs like cinematographer, um, then uh, the person who writes the script is a uh, script uh, writer, then there's a lot of to work for uh, editing the film. Uh, there are of course a lot of people involved like production designer, makeup artist, the director, the stunt person, choreographer, why not, if we uh, talk about musicals, actors and actresses, uh, which are very, very important in, uh, in films. And there are also some adjectives that describe a film. Can you think of some other examples? Realistic, exciting, dramatic, fascinating, sad, humorous. So, when we talk about films, we have types of films there. An adventure film, historical, documentary. Look there, 1917. You already know from the poster that we uh, talk about a historical film. Then a thriller, um, probably some detectives. There's a crime there or a science fiction movie or film. Oh, what's the difference between film and movie? Well, we say film in British English and movie in American English. They're both okay, but it depends uh, which one you prefer. Let's see, um, there are different types of films. Yes, we have a short film or a long length film. Um, then we have a silent film. There used to be uh, at the beginning. In, then we have uh, the trailer, the, it presents the film to you. Then let's see, we talked about people involved in the creating of film and I guess we'll, we can move on. We could also talk about TV programs. I'm sure you watch a lot of television. There are dramas, sitcoms, cartoons, documentaries, um, comedies, films in general, soap operas, then talent shows, reality shows, quiz shows, chat shows, and of course the news. Match the words from the box here, should be a box, to the correct form of art. Let's see, you have music, literature, visual arts, theater, and film. Band, it's connected to... This goes to music. Music. Chapter. Literature. Conductor. Music again. Exhibition. Visual arts. 
Interval. Theater. Screenplay. Film. Sculpture. It's an art again. Stage. Theater. Subtitles. For films. And volume. For literature. Poems can be uh, printed in volumes. What type of film is that? It is full of funny scenes. Mm, right, a comedy. comedy. What type of film is about two people in love? Romance. What type of film is full of action and danger? It could be a thriller or an action film. What type of film has scary scenes? That's horror. What type of film is about space technology, aliens and life in the future? A sci-fi or a science fiction film. And what type of film has moving drawings? Cartoons. Okay. Yes. Or we can talk about animation. Let's test you. The book has a very interesting plot, bestseller, volume, fiction. It's plot. The Lord of the Rings is in an imaginary world called Middle Earth. It is set in an imaginary world. The main of the Chronicles of Narnia are four children. I hope you know the book and the film. The people who are part of a book are called characters. And so are the ones in films. Jimi Hendrix's first album, Are You Experienced, was in 1967. Released is the verb that we need here. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone was into a film in 2001. Well, adapted works, but I guess turn can sometimes no. yeah. work too. Movies or films can be touching if, it's, uh, if they are like Titanic, amusing, the comedies are this way, exciting like thrillers or boring, of course. I don't know which one is boring there, but... It depends on your taste. Taste, yes. Phrases you can use when you talk about films. After you watch it, you might say, don't waste your time watching it. Is it a positive thing or a negative one? It's a negative for sure. Don't miss it. Mmm, that's... it's thrilling, it's a positive one. It's a must. You have to see it. See it. Positive again. Don't bother with this one. Mm, I hated it. Negative. And I definitely recommend it. Well, positive again. You should see it. Like here, Batman versus Superman is a boring thing. Don't bother with this one. But maybe it's just me. Choose the correct word. This week's for film choice. You have Three words there and you have to choose the one that best fits the text. I'm sure you've seen all the fantastic ads for the film 10 Steps. It's about a bank robber who wants to commit the perfect crime. This film is one of the best thrillers. Crime, crime go yes. well with thrillers. The best thrillers I've seen for a long time. The actor, Mark Dempsey, plays the main role. role perfectly. I ask the author, the reporter or the director of the film. It's the film, so... It's a director. Director of the film, Martina Hausstorm, why she had chosen Dempsey. She said he was the only actor in his early 20s who was capable of a first-class... Performance. Performance? Most of the film was made on uh, the streets of Los Angeles, not in the film companies in Hollywood. We have studios. Studios. Go and see it. Time to talk. Mm. So, can you name a film uh, set in Africa? Think mm. about it. What about in Europe? Can you think of a romantic comedy? Mm, I have a few in mind, but uh, 
I don't know. Maybe... No? Okay. No. Maybe you do. <laughs> uh, can you name a film that is a sci-fi? A sci-fi? Well, probably the only one I know is Star Trek. Okay, or the only Passengers. One. Okay. Uh, what about a film that is a horror? Ho a horror film? Mm, there was a... Alien? Come mm. on. No? No, you name it. I oh, don't know. Psycho. What... Maybe, no. The one with crimes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I what hate horror, so I don't know. Love? What about people who are in love? Well, the first one that comes to my mind is Romeo and Juliet. Of course. And we also had an example before, the Titanic. Mm -hmm. What about a film about someone who wants to destroy the world? Mm. It was the Avengers, I think. Exactly. There were a lot of people yeah, there who were and bad. And it was Thanos there. Uh, one more, maybe a film that takes place in during the World War, the Second World War. Mm, you got me there. I have no idea. 1917, and that's quite okay, a yeah. new one. Okay. What about a, a film that has a music star in it? Mm. I'm sure you know that Beyoncé played in films, even Rihanna, another movie star, uh, music star, maybe uh, oh, J-Lo, I have one Lopez. in mind, A Star Is Born, which is with... With? Who's the singer who plays the part in A Star Is Born? Lady Gaga. Okay, good. Let's talk about books now. There... Are there's romance in uh, some books, uh, there's magic and fantasy there, uh, you can find detective stories, so let's see. When we talk about books, we talk about literature, but we have to have in mind the fact that there's, uh, we talk about fiction and non-fiction. This is creative and here we have adventure books, romance, fairy tales, legends, myth, comics, detective stories, horror books, hor horror novels, science fiction, thrillers, uh, mysteries, and when we talk about non-fiction, we have books like encyclopedia, biographies, autobiographies, dictionaries are uh, placed here, magazines, the atlas, newspapers, textbooks, cookery books, and travel guides. Match the two columns. An author... Well, is a person who writes books. The title this? is... It's actually the name of a book. The name of a book. A chapter... Is part of the story, a section of a book. A character... A person who plays, who does something in a book. Yes. A, the plot is... The, the story, story itself, what happens uh, in the book, it has a beginning, a middle and an end, of course, and an illustration is a picture, a photo, a diagram in the book. Can you judge a book by its title? Sometimes there's more to it. Match the writers with what they write. Authors write... Yes, any kind they of write book. any kind of book. Novelists they write... They only write fictional books. Poets write... Poetry, poetry or poems. Playwrights write plays, plays. Drama. Journalists write articles in newspapers. And biographers... Write about people's people. lives. Here you have some verbs, entertain, interest, bore, thrill, frighten, touch. Let's change the verbs into adjectives. We really enjoyed ourselves because it was a very entertaining, entertaining film. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea is a very interesting book. The film was so oh, boring that, that I fell asleep. 
I finished the book in one evening because the story was so thrilling. Many people thought the director's new film was disappointing. They didn't like it. The, the little boy watched a um, frightening film, film on TV last night, so he couldn't sleep. It was probably a horror film. And it was, there's one more. Something that made me really sad. Yeah, it was so it's a touching story. Touching story about the boy's difficult life. Put the correct word in each gap. So we have reviews. Culture, author, video clip, science fiction, and chapters. And here you have an email. Hi, Emma. I'm reading this wonderful book at the moment. It's about humans living on another planet in the future. I don't usually like... Science fiction. Exactly. It's uh, life on an, in the future, on another planet. But this story is fantastic. You might know the she's called Amanda Tyler. Well, the, the author. author, the author, yes. If you look on the internet, you'll find lots of, what do you find on the internet? Reviews. Of her books. Actually, you can also see in a chat show. So, there's the key. A short video, a video clip. I'm reading Lost World. It's really easy to read because they are quite short. So, a book has many... Chapters. chapters quite short and the story is so exciting it's about how our changes when we face many dangers our culture, culture. take care simon that's it for today thank you for watching see you next time goodbye bye